Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, I'm Yash Shad, co-founder CEO at Galileo. Uh, we're an AI reliability platform focusing on evaluation, observability, and guardrails for generative AI use cases, especially agents. Um, we started the company about four years ago. Um, we're about you know, 70 to 80 people in size now post Series B. And we've been working with enterprise companies, a lot of Azure uh, customers, to actually help them make their agents, chatbots reliable and run them at scale in production. Now, today I'm gonna to be focusing a little bit on, on multi-turn agents and some of the challenges that we have with agentic evaluations. Who all over here are building agents? All right. Um, it's, uh, you know, and it's, it's the natural paradigm that, that we're shifting into. Uh, automation is, is gonna happen with agents and you know, as we all know and we've seen that strong evals are actually a, a very, very strong mode for any team that is building AI applications, especially agents. But evaluating AI applications is not like evaluating just a model. It's about unit testing. It's about test-driven development, just like you would in a software application. Um, and the, the, but the big challenge there is that we, we can't really test our code, which has LLM calls, which has tool calls, which has retrieval behind the scenes, which is why eval powered tests are, are critical. What does that lead to? And we all know this, you know, if we can iterate faster, we, we, we'll have effective monitoring, and then we'll have real time intervention. In the era of non deterministic software, we need a way to prevent bad outcomes in production. And that, all, and that all starts in the right evaluation strategy. Now, uh, how, do, how to get evaluations right, right? And we, we do a lot of these workshops you know, with uh, the, the large LLM providers, our, our, our large enterprise customers. And there are, key, there are a few key focus areas, especially with agents, right? Firstly, we, we're all component, componentizing agents, you know, we're all right now learning how to build multi-agentic applications. One agent to rule them all is not the reality. It, we have to build agents that are almost like microservices that are doing specific things in an automated manner and they all work together to, to make it happen, to make a large automation workflow happen. Then th the second step is when we co build these agentic components, we want to ma make sure that we are measuring precisely what, what we need, what, what we need for uh, the agent to be doing for us. Third is ensuring coverage in production. Test, you know, we, talk, we, we all know about test coverage and CI, CD in, in the pre-production phase, but with non-determinism, as I alluded to earlier, having good test coverage in production is key. And lastly, as, real, as we have real-time prevention, we can, for example, let's say a hallucination detection task. If we can detect hallucinations reliably at high accuracy and prevent them in real time in under 200 milliseconds, wouldn't that be great? And that's, that's where we're headed to with, with our work at Galileo. Not only that, with agents in, in complex multi-agentic systems evolving, these systems are gonna be very complex and we will encounter unforeseen hiccups, issues, bugs in, in the system live in production. But if we don't have a way to immediately mitigate those issues within seconds, we're gonna to have to go back, change our prompts, evaluate and, and roll out a new release. Our agents are gonna be doing bad things like you know, making bad API calls, hallucinating, you know, creating bad outputs um, for days even, right? And the only option is to shut it down in that case. But as we, you know, keep these four things in mind from right from, uh, you know, from the beginning when you're building the agents, the POCs, to the end when it's live in production and scaling up. Today, I'm going to focus our time on point number two, you know, and given, you know, we have 15 minutes here, 10 more minutes, it, it, let's do justice to, to one of these points, which is, in my mind, the crux of getting things right. I'm going to take a, an example here, and let's, let's talk in terms of an example. This is a, 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 the world's best travel agent built on Azure AI Foundry. 
and it has two components a planner agent that takes a user input like i'm create I, I want i'm planning a trip to japan in august for 10 days help me create my itinerary and 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 help me make my reservations the agent is going to retrieve my personal uh, my personal preferences what I, where i like to stay i like to take non stop flights i like to try out sample the street food and those things are going to be key as part of the recommendations that happen then it comes then there's an intense step where the agent is looking at you know where am i going to travel what's what's my preferences and then there's a the agentic and the planning phases where it's actually clarifying what i need as part of my itinerary and and making the right tool calls to fetch the information whether it's flight details hotel details uh, recommendations on on things to do there activities and then summarizing the output but as part of the summarization step it also has a reflection loop do we have everything to give the end user a, a really good itinerary and a plan if we don't goes back to the planning step everyone following so far and now we once we've built the planning agent that planning agent and could be it could just be an mcp uh, server tool that connects my planning agent to uh, a reservation agent and the reservation agent can actually be like calling multiple reservation agencies like expedia or yelp or open table and once the reservations is done and there's actually a handoff the, the reason why we have a handoff here is because you know we don't like the planner agent is not going to have my expedia login credentials and you know authentication is not a solved problem just yet as part of the multi agent flow um but then once the reservation is done the user output goes out in terms of like an email confirmation and a a pdf of my travel plan etc now given this let's focus on like the multi turn phases of these agents right the the phases where like there's back and forth planning there's uh, there's absolutely more to be done when we when we evaluate multi turn agents and i'll talk about it in a moment but let's focus here for a minute now what we what we see here is just a an example of this agent live right you know i want to book a flight from new york to london you know and then there's like a multi turn interaction happening there's and while we have multi turn interactions happening we also have metrics at each step that tell us that the agent is doing the right job okay now now that we know this example like let's think about how to evaluate these systems in depth firstly let's look at single step accuracy right the certain key metrics that are key, are part of these agents agentic evaluations firstly there's all, always going to be hallucinations and completeness like completeness is you know is is an obvious metric if if i'm not fetching the right data and and showing it to the end user as per the intent it's uh it's going to be incomplete and 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 a poor experience tool selection and tool errors is the agent able to select the right tools as part of that planning phase and if not why why so we've seen agents actually hallucinate on tool selection itself some sometimes an agent can call the same tool twice instead of calling two multiple tools and these things have to be caught you know in advance context attribution and utilization that's the actually a a, a rag a rag based metric and then there's tool resolution accuracy if especially for mcp style paradigms is the tool that you're calling in an mcp server being resolved to the right tool that's in the system and the right url is being called etc right so that that needs to be evaluated now there's agent trajectory as well the more complex your agent gets these metrics are going to be very very key so when you are creating these these tests and evaluation metrics keep these in mind agent flow adherence is the agent adhering to a, go, a good pattern or a good flow certain inputs and outputs warrant certain steps to be called early on that's the expected trajectory metric there's action advancement in the planning stage is the agent getting stuck in 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 a back and forth just asking the same random questions again and again or is it actually progressing towards the goal turn frequency is the agent taking 20 turns to get to my you know planner uh, agent or, or or my planning step done or is it you know is it doing it in two two to three steps so turn frequency and efficiency of doing that topic deviation and detection 
sometimes an agent might just deviate and say like, hey, by the way, in Japan, there's also these other things that you could be looking at. And like, that's, that's not what I want. It's, I, I know that maybe I don't, I don't have kids and I don't like, I wouldn't go to Disneyland there, but you know, why is it deviating from the topic? Interaction outcomes. So these are outcome based metrics. Uh, can we have conditional rules on the final outcomes? Just, just getting an email from my reservation agent and saying my reservation is done. That's not, that's not it. For my reservation to be done, did it call the right tools and make the right calls internally? Um, what's the required order of events? Stuck interactions. And I talked about that a little bit on the trajectory side, but that's also an outcome based metric we want to measure. And workflow routing accuracy. So workflow routing is, you know, based on which, which route is it taking? Is it from the planner agent? Is it going to the reservation agent? Or is it going to, uh, maybe, you know, maybe just, a. a uh, another agent that it shouldn't be called. But any, everyone following so far? So this is, this is just a guideline on certain metrics that you should be thinking about. But the more important piece is that these metrics have to be adapted to your use case. Don't ever use metrics that are just out of the box and, and they, you would expect them to work magically. There's no silver bullet here, right? Another thing to keep in mind is as you start building these, make sure they're part of an effective CI CD pipeline. I've heard so many times from startups and from enterprises that we launched something that was agentic and in a month we had to roll it back because there's some new feature that, it, that we are building and it caused other instructions and other steps to regress. But if there's no strong CI CD in your agents, it's, it's going to be brittle. Third thing is real-time enforcement. And as, as our agents start making real-world changes for us, actually making reservations, changing back-end databases, ticketing systems, real-time enforcement is absolutely critical. And I talked about that a little bit. But think about all of these tests that you have you know, in your CI CD. If you can, and, and they're LLM as a judge. But what we've done at Galileo is that we have built Luna evaluation models that can take any LLM as a judge metric and turn it into a guardrail that can run in under 200 milliseconds, right? That's, that's actually going to be mo more and more important coming uh, in the coming future. And multi-agent evaluations, you know, I, I talked about that single agent flow, but there are multi-agent in interactions. Did the handoff happen correctly? Um, think about how you're going to even start tracing these things. And at Galileo, we've actually built an agent reliability platform that can have distributed tracing capabilities of different agents collected all in one big graph. And not only that, we can look at, analyze the entire graph and, and give suggestions on, and insights on where things are going wrong. So that being said, you know, all of this stuff is actually gonna be critical as you start building one agent and evals for those agents, then they can be actually combined into a multi-agentic flow as well. Um, on top of this, we're, we also are looking into automatic suggestions and metrics, et cetera, to bolster your multi-agentic flow. With that, I know we're, we have a minute left, but I always love it when it's interactive. So we'll op open it up for, uh, for any questions. If, you, if, you're, if you're interested in this topic, we're deeply thinking about this. Our ML research teams are hard at work solving these these big challenges for the agentic future. Email me at yashatgalileo.ai or just check out our spanking new website today, uh, galileo.ai. Thank you all for, for joining us and I'm, I'll be here uh, if you want to chat. <laughs>